modern agriculture is today faced with different challenges than a decade ago. Climate changes and the associated emergence of new plant diseases and pests, stricter environmental requirements and restrictions, increasingly conscious consumers who demand high quality, healthy and safe food from growers, require the introduction of new strategies and more sustainable ways of farming and food production. These challenges are addressed in the research, professional and advisory work at the Agricultural Institute of Slovenia, which is, among the 16 public research institutes in Slovenia, the only one covering the agriculture sector as a whole. Temelne, aplikativne, raziskave in pa razvojno delo na področju kmetijstva v zadnjih letih, pa če dal je bolj, kmetijske vsebine navezujemo tudi na varstvo okolja in pa ekologijo. V podporo našim dejavnostim lahko rečemo, da imamo dobro upremljene laboratorije. Naše aktivnosti večinoma izvajamo v laboratorijih in na poljih v Ljubljani in pa v Jablah. Ob teh glavnih lokacijah pa upravljamo številne poskuse tudi na različnih mestih in pa postajah širom Slovenije. Tukaj pa gre seveda za preverjanje in pa preizkušanje različnih agroklimatskih razmer. Nahajamo se na Kmetijskem inštitutu Slovenije na oddelko za infrastrukturo, Center za raziskave in poskusništvo, kjer nudimo vso potrebno infrastrukturo za izvajanje poskusov in raziskav. Konkretno se nahajamo na poskuso IOSDV, kjer od leta 1992 preučujemo vpliv zauravanja žetvenih ustankov v tla na žitih in pa na koruzo ter dognojevanje z dušičnimi gnojili. An important testing site for horticultural research at our institute is Brdo near Lukovica, with a vast collection of more than 400 different varieties of apples, pears, nashi, cherries, plums, nuts and berries. The collection, which is the largest in Slovenia, is used for experimental and research work and represents valuable genetics resources. Plant genetics and physiology are important parts of the research activities at the Institute, which are setting upon us always new scientific challenges. V bazičnih in aplikativnih raziskavah pojasnimo posamezno delovanje organizmov, posameznih organov, organel in pojasnimo tudi njihovo delovanje. V okviru programske skupine Agrobiodiverziteta se na Kmetijskem inštitutu že vrsto let ukvarjamo s proučevanjem odziva rastlin na sušo. Vemo, da je suša eden izmed abiotskih denjavnikov, ki močno pliva na zmanjšanje količine in kakovosti pridelka. Drought tolerance is a complex trait inherited by a number of genes or QTLs. Drought stress response is studied on different levels from physiological and biochemical to the level of transcriptome and proteome. The results provide new insights into the regulatory mechanisms of plant stress response and are practically applied in plant breeding processes. The most valuable resources in each plant gene bank are autochthonous land races and populations. Their genetic diversity and adaptability to a given soil and climate conditions represent a valuable source for breeding new varieties. They also represent an important national treasure that must be preserved. The gene bank at the Agricultural Institute of Slovenia houses more than 3,500 genetic resources of agricultural plants that have been collected throughout Slovenia. Results of research in the field of genetics, physiology, plant health and production technologies are applied in breeding processes. Potato breeding has a long tradition at the Agricultural Institute of Slovenia. Since now, 25 varieties of potatoes were released, of which 10 varieties that are also commercially viable were bred in the last two decades. Ko žlahnimo nove sorte, seveda imamo v mislih, da mora biti sorta dobra za jest, da mora biti rodovitna in pa odporna proti boleznimi škodljivce, ne le tistim, ki so danes tukaj, ampak tistim, ki bodo pravzaprav čez 10-20 let pomembni. Zato je še kako pomembno, da poznamo te bolezni, te patogene, te škodljivce, spremljamo njihov razvoj, seveda tudi, da iščemo gene odpornosti proti tem boleznim in jih potem uspešno prenesemo v program žlahnenja. An extensive part of research is focused on plant protection. 
V tem smislu se ukvarjamo z različnimi rastlinskimi škodljivci, kot so na primer žuželjke in pa rastlinsko-parazitske ogorčice in pa številnimi povzročitelji bolezni, kot so na primer glive, virusi in pa bakterije. Only since a couple of years we actually know that there are more than 1.5 million fungi on Earth, but only just 300,000 have been described and only a proportion of those are actually well understood. If we are considering now to implement sustainable approaches in agriculture, we need to understand not only most important pathogens or already described biological control agents, but but the complexity of all the fungi that are present in soil, in the plant, or involved in, uh, in pathogenic processes, including mycotoxin production. There is an enormous amount of fungi yet to be discovered, to be described, characterized, and actually um, studied so that we can use them for beneficial approaches in agriculture. For detection and identification of plant pests and diseases, morphological analysis and modern molecular and biochemical methods are used. Lately, the research is focused on studies of natural resistance in different vegetable species and other agricultural crops. The main research is to be tolerant in the accessories of solate, the gene, and the gene obrambnih mehanizmov proti rastlinsko-parazitskim ogorčicam koreninskih šišt. V zadnjem času razvijamo tudi različne hiperspektralne analize, to so manj agresivne metode detekcije škodljivih organizmov. Hyperspectral imaging can be used in the laboratory, in the greenhouse, on the ground and on board of an airplane. It allows the separation of objects and their states on the basis of spectral signatures, like reflected light. It covers a wavelength of 400 to 2,500 nanometers, with division of light into 500 bands. In this case, we have created a flight from the vineyard and created a flight from the vineyard and the flight of the vineyard and the flight of the vineyard in some vineyards. This is possible to do this, but some plants are affected by the recimo z ogorčicami ali kakšna virusna ali bakterijska okužba, lahko ločimo različna stresna stanja rastlina, se gre zdaj za recimo sušni stres ali pomankanje hranila. Lahko tudi merimo vsebnost ločenih snovi v rastlinah, recimo spet pri grozdju, smo že delali na vsebnosti sladkorja v jagodah. Zdaj pa si bomo še ogledali, kaj nam uporaba hiperspektralnih posnetkov omogoča. V bližnji infradeči svetlobi pa zelo lepo ločimo jagode, ki sicer zgledajo zdravo, ampak so dejansko že začeli gniti. Imamo tole posnetek grozdja, ker zgleda vse popolnoma zdravo. Ko smo pa zdaj nekoliko analizirali, že samo z uporabo enostavnih filtrov, smo gotovili, da nekateri jagode kažejo znake gnitja. Extensive research areas, where the agricultural products are monitored from the field to the table, are pig production and viticulture and enology. V sklopu programa trajnostno kmetijstvo proučujemo vplive rejskih dejavnikov na kakovost produkta. The research in pig breeding takes three main directions. In the case of dry cured ham, rearing factors are studied in association to the final product quality, lately focusing on the possibility to reduce salt content and retain sensory quality. Currently, also the issues related to the predicted ban on surgical castration are given much attention. Alternative solutions for reducing boar taint are being studied, including immunocastration as well as supplementing boars with bioactive substances such as tannin. Tretje pomembno področje, ki nas bo pa okupiralo predvsem naslednja štiri leta, pa bodo raziskave povezane z avtohtono pasmo prašičev krškopolec. In sicer ga bomo proučevali tako z vidika genetske karakterizacije, sistema ureje in prehrane, okoljskega vtisa, teh sistemov reje ter njih kakovosti produktov, ki jih pridobimo iz teh prašičev. This research is a part of European Horizon 2020 program project with the acronym TREASURE, coordinated by Agricultural Institute of Slovenia. It includes 25 partners from nine countries, studying over 20 different octoctonous pig breeds from Europe. 
S tem projektom vsaj, kar se tiče Slovenije, želimo zagotoviti temelje za trajnostno, proizvodno in ponovni razcvet krškopolske pasme. Pri vinogradništvu in vinarstvu dajemo povdarek odbiri kakovostnega sadilnega materijala, izboljšanju kakovosti slovenskih vin s pomočjo vinogradniških in vinarskih ukrepov ter sledenju prisnosti pridelave vina. Pri svojem strokovnem in raziskovalnem delu se tako ukvarjamo z selekcijo domačjih in introdukcijo tujih sort in klonovinske trte, upeljavo sodobnih analitskih in mikrobioloških metod v laboratorju ter spremljanjem nekaterih vinarskih parametrov na kakovost vina. Prav tako se ukvarjamo z sledenjem avtentičnosti pridelave vina z pomočjo sodobnih analitskih in izotopskih metod. Na področju vinogradništva in vinarstva izvajamo raziskave za izboljšanje polifenolnih profilov grozdja in vina. Na ta način skupaj s pridelovalci in okvirujče zmenih projektov izvajamo vinogradniške poskuse z namenom izboljšanje polifenolne kakovosti grozdja Refošk in vina Teran. V okviru raziskav smo tako preučevali vpliv listne površine, vpliv rečenja grozdja, vpliv razlistanja, časa trgatve, mikrolokacij na samo polifenolno strukturo grozdja in kasneje vina. At the institute, the effort is given to promote research in cooperation with Slovenian producers as much as possible. Za nas vinogradnike je sodelovanje z razvojnimi inštitucijami, kamor spada tudi Kmetijski inštitut Slovenije, nojno. Zvoj gre hitro naprej in če hočeš biti aktualen na trgu, potem je to sodelovanje še kako potrebno. In to sodelovanje s Kmetijski inštitutem je vzorno in traja že več kot dve desetleti. Research work at the institute is interdisciplinary. Environmental topics are becoming increasingly more and more important and are following a clear objective. Da je kmetijska pridelava kar se najbolj trajnostna in okolju prijazna, kar seveda pomeni, da je kmetijstvo tisto, ki skrbi za okolje, ki skrbi za dobro, biotsko pestrost, čiste površinske vode, podzemne vode, za rodovitno stalj in da pri tem ne prihaja do negativnih vplivov na okolje. Agricultural Institute of Slovenia will continue to strive for scientific excellence. The institute will invest in upgrading knowledge and research equipment. By participating in European research networks, Agricultural Institute of Slovenia is exchanging the latest international research experiences. Existing knowledge will be continuously upgraded and reasonably transferred to the Slovenian producers and other end users.